How's it going, people? Alrighty, we are up to chapter 5 of Mosiah. And we're going to have us a little tecate. I haven't had this in a long time. God, it's cold, too. Mighty fine. Mm. And now it came to pass. Ah. Oh, I got this uh, that Bevmo lime beer salt. Let's give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, one more. Uh, it came to pass that when King Benjamin had thus spoken to his people, he sent among them, uh, desiring to know of his people, if they believed the words which he had spoken unto them. <laughs> he wanted to know if they bought his bullshit. <laughs> uh. And they all cried with one voice. Yea, we believe all the words which thou hast spoken unto us, and also we know of their surety and truth, because of the Spirit of the Lord, omnipotent. Never forget an old game. Kind of pads a weak chapter. Yeah. Which has wrought a mighty change in us. Or in our hearts. What's with this or shit? You're always saying this or the same shit. It's said differently. <laughs> uh, or. You got a choice. <laughs> Uh, a no choice choice. <laughs> you know, believe or suffer. Shit like that. Yeah, great choices there. A mighty change in us or in our hearts that we have no more disposition to do evil. I don't, and I didn't need you guys for that. <laughs> yeah, they would have been evil if it wasn't for this bullshit. Uh, but to do good continually. Yeah, home run, Benji. And we ourselves also, through the infinite goodness of God and the manifestations of His Spirit, have great views of that which is to come. And were it expedient, we could prophesy all things, but it's not expedient, so they can't. But if they... <laughs> uh, and it is the faith which we have had on the things which our king hath spoken unto us that has brought us to this great knowledge... <laughs> Wherebore, where, where, whereby we do rejoice with such exceeding great joy. Isn't great and exceeding kind of the same too? And isn't rejoice and joy the same? We're padding this book a little, aren't we? Why don't you just throw some more Isaiah in while you're at it? You know, put the whole fucking book in here. Fuck it. <laughs> And we are willing to enter into a covenant with our God uh, to do his will and to be obedient to all his commandments in, uh, uh, in all things that he shall command us. 
his commandments and all things he shall command us. Okay. Uh, all the remainders of our days. I love how they keep hammering this point home lately. You know, past a couple of chapters. Spend your whole fucking life at this and you get a bonus round. It's like a video game. You get an extra life. The rest of us, ah, shit. I guess we only live once. That's all I'm counting on. I'd be happy to find out I'm wrong, but... <laughs> Unless it's that hell shit. You know, because that's just plain, plain fucking evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, Charlie Manson believes in God. And Jesus. It's not ironic. Because he's going to heaven. Ah. <sighs> The remainder of our worthless fucking lives. <laughs> uh, the remainder of our days that we may not bring upon ourselves a never-ending torment. That hell business again. Yeah. As has been spoken by the angel that we may not drink out of the cup of the wrath of God. And now, these are the words of which King Benjamin desired of them. He was pretty pleased. The speech went over. Uh. And therefore he said unto them, Ye have spoken the words which I desired. Which was stated before. Why did they just say, King Benjamin said, you've spoken the words that I desired, without saying. They spoke the words that he desired, and he said, you spoke the words that he desired. <sighs> yeah, believable, totally. Hey, I'm reading it, man. You know, you can't say I'm not reading your fucking book, uh, Mormons. I'm reading it. <sighs> I'm prepared to be impressed, any time. And now, these are the words which King Benjamin said of them. <laughs> Ye have spoken the words that I desired, and the covenant which I have made is a righteous covenant. Isn't that nice? And now, because of the covenant which ye have made, ye shall be called the children of Christ, or just call them Christians, you know, or Mormons, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> his sons and his daughters, for behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you. Like, <laughs> never mind. Uh, for ye say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name. Name of a guy who hasn't been born yet, and they nailed him in this book, Isaiah. His name will be Emmanuel, and he'll be like this and this, and some of it matches and some of it don't. Yeah. And then, pow! They got his zip code. They got his private number. <laughs> his sons and his daughters... For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you, for you, and under his head ye are made free. Yeah, they sound really free. And there is no other head uh, whereby ye can be made free. All right. There is no other name given whereby salvation cometh. Therefore, I would that ye should take upon you the name of Christ. All you that have entered into the covenant with God, that ye should be obedient unto the ends of your lives. So they've said it twice in four, and they've said it twice so far in five. Spend your whole life serving us, biatch, and you'll be a god. I'll drink to that.
and another useless transition. Not too bad. Interesting. Let's put some more of the salt in here. It's all fizzy. It revives the head, which is better than this head they were talking about. And we'll leave it there. I won't go any further. Uh, you know, sometimes it's better to give than receive, and sometimes it's good both ways. That's all I'm going to say. And it shall come to pass that whosoever doth this shall be found at the right hand of God. That's going to be a pretty crowded spot, isn't it? I mean, how much room does he have there? Or does do physics matter anymore? Probably not. Uh, for he shall know the name by which he is call called, for he shall be called the name of Christ. Uh, the Lord Omnipotent may seal you his, that you may be brought to heaven, that ye may have everlasting salvation and eternal life. So, through the wisdom and power and justice and mercy of him who created all things in heaven and earth and hell, who is God above all? A fucking men. So, Benji's hanging on and he won't shut up. Let's see if he dies next chapter, all right? Peace the fuck out. And whatever you're having, make it a wonderful one.